Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of uh, x squared minus 1 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to x squared minus 2. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. Since uh, this expression is under square root, so this must be greater than or equal to 0. And this x squared minus 2 must be greater than or equal to 0. x squared minus 2 must be greater than or equal to 0. If we move this uh, negative 2 to the right hand side, then x squared must be greater than or equal to 2. So, this is the domain of this equation we use to check the solutions of uh, this equation. Now, let us continue square root of this 1 is same as 1 squared. So, this uh, x squared minus 1 squared will become x minus 1 times x plus 1. And from these two terms uh, x squared plus 2x uh, we can factor out x. x as common factor in bracket left uh, x plus uh, 2 plus this 1 is equal to x squared minus 2. Now, we change the position of uh, this uh, x. We write this x uh, before this x plus 1. So, this will become square root of this expression x minus 1 times, now we write this x times this x plus 1 times x plus 2 plus this 1 is equal to x squared minus 2. Now, here we have a product of uh, 4 consecutive numbers and uh, product of uh, 4 consecutive numbers uh, plus 1 is always a perfect square. Let us say this number x is 2. So, this x minus 1 will be 1 times this uh, x plus 1 will be 3 and this number x plus 2 means uh, 2 plus 2 will be 4 plus 1 and this is equal to 1 times 2, 2, 2 times 3, 6, 6 times 4, 24 and 24 plus 1, 25. That is a perfect square, square of 5. So, this number must be a perfect square. Now, we rearrange these terms we write this term x minus 1 with this x plus 2 and we write this x with this x plus 1. Then uh, this expression will become square root of, we write this x minus 1, x minus 1 times this x plus 2 times this x times x plus 1 plus this 1 is equal to x squared minus 2. Now, we multiply these two terms, then this will become square root of x times x, x squared, and x times plus 2 plus 2x negative 1 times x is negative x, negative 1 times plus 2, negative 2 times we multiply this x by this x plus 1, x times x, x squared and x times plus 1 plus x plus this 1 is equal to x squared minus 2. Next, square root of x squared, this uh, plus 2x minus 1x will become plus x minus 2 times this x squared plus uh, x 
plus this one is equal to x squared minus two. Now we consider this uh, x squared plus x as a single term, and we multiply this uh, x squared plus x by this uh, x squared plus x. Then this will become square. So this expression will become square root of this x squared plus x times x squared plus x will become x squared plus x whole squared, and this negative two times this number will become negative two times x squared plus x, and we can write here times one plus this one can be written as one squared. Is equal to x squared minus two. Now, by using this algebraic identity, a squared minus two ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. In this expression, this x squared plus x is as a, and this one is as b. So this expression will become Square root of x squared plus x minus one whole squared is equal to x squared minus two. Now this square will be cancelled out with this square root, and here we get the absolute value of this expression, that is x squared plus X minus one is equal to x squared minus two. It means we have a positive x squared plus x minus one is equal to x squared minus two, or we have negative x squared plus x minus one is equal to X squared minus two. From this equation, if we subtract x squared from both sides, then this get cancelled. This get cancelled, and this equation will become x minus one is equal to negative two. And move this negative one to the right hand side, then this will become x is equal to negative two plus one, and x is equal to Negative one. This is the first value of x. Now, from this equation, negative times x squared, negative x squared, negative times x, negative x, and negative times negative one plus one is equal to x squared minus two. We move all these three terms to the right hand side. Then this will become x squared plus uh, X squared plus x minus two minus one is equal to zero. This one、uh, x squared plus one x squared will become two x squared plus x minus three is equal to zero. Now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this two x squared, two x squared. And we can write this plus x as negative two x plus three x minus three is equal to zero. From these two terms, we can factor out two x. Two x as common in bracket left x minus one. And from these two terms, we can factor out plus three in bracket left x minus one is equal to zero. Now this x minus one, this x minus one is common. So x minus one as common factor and in bracket left, in bracket left this two x and this plus three. In bracket left two x plus three is equal to zero. From here either this expression x minus one is equal to zero, or this expression two x plus three. Is equal to zero. From this equation, we get the value of x is equal to one. 
and from this equation we get the value of x is equal to negative 3 over 2. This is the second value of x and this is the third value of x and first we found the value of x1 negative 1 x1 is equal to negative 1. So, for now we have uh, three values of uh, x. Now, let us uh, verify these values and see that uh, which of them are solutions. To verify these values we use the domain of the equation x squared must be greater than or equal to 2. x squared must be greater than or equal to 2. So, when x is equal to negative 1 then this will become negative 1 squared is it greater than or equal to 2 negative 1 squared is 1 in 1 is not greater than or equal to 2. So, this will be rejected this is not a solution. Now, when x is equal to 1 then this will become 1 squared is it greater than or equal to 2 1 squared is 1 and this is not greater than or equal to 2. So, this also rejected. Now, when x is equal to negative 3 over 2 then this will become negative 3 over 2 squared is it greater than or equal to 2 negative 3 over 2 squared is 9 over 4 is it greater than or equal to 2 this 9 over 4 is same as 2 plus 1 over 2 and this is greater than 2 means this value of x in negative 3 over 2 is a valid solution.